Hey everyone, this is actually going to be a two-part video on what I do first when I come into a new account as far as auditing it. And the easiest way to, to describe this is that this is before you do anything with keywords. Anything. Part one is going to be looking at advertised product report. It's well, if, if there's a bunch of ASINs and then part two is looking at budgets again. It's something I've covered with budgets, but I really want to get that point across because to be honest is everyone looks at PPC and they dive into keywords and they dive into bids, but budgets and advertised ASINs are actually a step above that because if you're advertising a hundred different ASINs in one ad group and you start to add negatives, it adds it to all of them. So you first need to see which ASINs aren't performing, okay? So first thing I can do here is show this. I just bought these socks, okay? I bought these socks personally there, and I typed in hiking socks for men. And when I typed in hiking socks for men, that's what came up. It was these gray ones because it's their best-selling variation. But I know that most people... When they're creating campaigns, whether it's autos or manuals, and they create an ad group, they click that little button that says add all variations. Now all of a sudden, you have 50 variations of socks in here. And I'm guessing that these khaki ones, you know, XXL or this biggest size don't sell nearly as well as this gray ones. That's why they were in the organic position. So if you're going in here and adding negative keywords to this ad group that has all of these, you're going to add the negative to the gray ones too. So first, you need to see which ASINs are wasting all my money in these ad groups. And just, just to look at it on this end is you guys know this is, this is when you come onto account and you're in an ad group and you can see the metrics on the ASIN level. So again, I'm not looking at keywords. And I'm seeing that this ASIN has a ROAS of 1.62 1, 1 compared to other ones that are 6.64. So if I add negatives, it's going to add negatives to my ones that are converting well. But this is really the one that's causing issues, right? So I want to pause this skew first and then see what happens before I add negatives. So that's the thought behind this. Now the strategy is it's super simple. This is an advertised product report, okay? So you pull an advertised product report, and this is all it is. I, I hit the campaign, ad group, and, and SKU and ASINs. All I do when I come in here is I make two filters. Clicks largest to smallest, ACOS largest to smallest. Now I do this every few weeks for this account, okay? I see what ASINs are underperforming. Now, like this one, 57 clicks and 160% ACOS. Sure, it's only spent 12 bucks, but this is conversions that I know all of these ad groups have a bunch of different ASINs, right? So I don't want this one to get clicks anymore. So all you do, and it's so simple, is you copy the campaign, the SKU, sorry, the campaign, the ad group and the SKU. These are the three pieces of info you need, okay? Now, then I always have a bulk upload template empty. So I'll copy these in. I have my campaign name, I have my ad group name, and then I have my SKU. Because in bulk uploads, you use SKUs, not ASINs. And then all you do here is paused. This is super zoomed out. I know that. Okay, that's it. That's it. So what I'll go through is I'll go through this, you know, and I'll copy these. Looks like there's a, there's a cutoff here at about this 70% ACOS. I'll copy all of these down. Campaign ad group SKU. I'll put these into my bulk upload. And then I'm going to do one other simple filter here. I'm just going to do clicks largest to smallest, and I'm going to do sales smallest to largest. Boom. Look at this. I, I missed this. I haven't looked at this in a few weeks, right? But I have this SKU. Sure, it's only spent $27. Not crazy, right? 132 clicks and no sales. 
So I'm going to pause all of these that have more than 30 clicks and no sales the past 30 days. And then I come in here, I do this, and then I just sort this out. I have my ad groups and I have my SKUs. Boom, paused, boom. I found 24 ASINs that I want to pause in these campaigns because they're stealing spend and clicks from the ASINs that are converting well, all right? Super, super simple tip. And if you go in here and add negatives to this campaign, you're gonna be hurting stuff. So this is what you should do before you look at a search term report. And this is obviously to have a bunch of variations. If you have, you know, one ASIN or five ASINs, you don't really need to look at this, but so many people, I'll go into accounts and I'll see there's never been an advertised product report pulled because people forget to look at this, all right? So I hope this helps. And then again, step two, I'm gonna be doing this, is gonna be covering a uh, just a quick budget tip that you should also do before pulling a search term report.